What's up, Internet? This is the Word on the Street podcast coming to you live from a secret location somewhere in Texas. I'm not going to lie to you people. This is an emergency broadcast. Uh, For the past few days, I've been on the run because some deep shit went down with the bookies uh, after UFC 149. Long story short, I got some bad info on the fights and had to dole out some punishment, you understand me? And I've also been getting death threats nonstop ever since my last podcast. Where, where I exposed the truth about alien reptilian shapeshifters fighting in the UFC. I, I have some more updates on that coming up, by the way. But the powers that be, they're, they're fucking putting the squeeze on me from all sides, all right? The, the fucking heat's on, so I had, to get the, I had to get the hell out of Austin. I've been driving nonstop and just doing cocaine to stay awake the whole time, and right now, all I can tell you is that I'm holed up in a cheap motel room with a 9mm within dick reach, you understand me? I'm ready to pull guard at a moment's notice if anyone other than my Craigslist hooker comes knocking at my room, alright? I'm fearing for my life and my internet machine is probably tapped, but I'm still here bringing you the latest UFC rumors and news. I don't know how much time I've got to broadcast here before they, uh, you know, triangulate my position, so let's just get right down to this shit with a new segment called the UFC Rumor Rundown. Here we go, fuck faces. Word on the street is that Chael Sonnen demanded to be paid in cash after UFC 148, so Uncle Dana White personally handed him a suitcase containing his $2 million fight purse. Him and his girlfriend reportedly blew through all the cash before, before they even left Vegas. So now he's got a dog to feed, and he's been doing some smoking and deep thinking, and Sonnen is getting ready to officially announce that he's moving to the light heavyweight division sometime in the next few weeks. And my sources are tell- they're telling me that his first fight at 205, it's going to be against Rashad Evans, the dude who just went five rounds with John Jones. It's going to be a striker who wrestles against a wrestler who strikes live on pay-per-view. UFC commentator Joe Rogan recently backed away from what would have been an easy fight against fellow comedian Randy Lid- Lidkey. Lidkey? Whatever. Anyway, this, this is leading to speculation on the street that Rogan may be dealing with an injury that he's been keeping secret. This news will definitely cast a shadow of doubt over his upcoming fight at UFC 200. He's going to go up against 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu master Eddie Bravo. But we'll keep you updated on, on all the statuses of, of both fighters, all right? R- right here on this show. Lyoto Machida has apparently lost his mind, according to anonymous sources within his fight camp. Machida's set to fight Ryan Bader next week at UFC on Fox 4, and he's pissed off because Dana White ain't paying him that fucking Anderson Silva-type money, you understand me? He's also still red in the face about John Jones choking him out like a little hooker and humiliating his family name in front of millions of people. He won't be showing his face back home in China anytime soon, is what I'm getting at, all right? But the word I'm hearing is that Machida is ready to prove himself in the octagon and kill his opponent, literally. He's he's drinking so many glasses of his own piss that he's getting drunk on it, and he's insisting on only training lethal techniques and UFC fatalities. No more of this karate slapping and flying through the air like a pony boy. He's gonna go for the throat, and he's also he's he's also training all sorts of chest punches and Rambo style neck breaks. His coaches they're reluctant to teach him this deadly crap, but it's hard times, and they gotta make some scratches to pay the bills too. You understand? Look for Lyoto Machida to go for the secret UFC kill bonus next week. It, it, it pays three times as much as, as knockout of the night. <laughs> Following up on our reptilian fighter investigation, we've been able to add a few more names to our list of confirmed UFC aliens. And I'm sorry to report that Henan Barrow, Benson Henderson, and MMA journalist Ariel Helwani have all been spotted allegedly drinking blood and shape-shifting into their true lizard forms. Of course, uh, we don't just take people at their word here at the word on the street. But, uh, yeah, yeah we, we definitely vet the information as much as possible before we bring it to you. So I went ahead and had some of my guys swipe DNA samples from some of these fighters' gloves we stole. And uh, we, got the, we got the windscreen off of Ariel Hawani's microphone and tested the saliva samples on it. And the DNA results came back all fucked up. All right? That, that, that's all the proof I need to know that these guys are space lizards. And no, 
Ariel Hawani being Jewish has got nothing to do with this. I love the guy to death, and, and his reporting and his interviews are always solid. Uh, but but he's got filthy lizard blood in his veins, and he can't be trusted, especially around our women. This guy is a, this guy's an obvious plant. And if you need more proof, just look at his name, all right? Ariel Helwani, rearranged, is an anagram for Alien Hell War. No bullshit. Check for yourself. Word on the street exclusive. When I smoked enough to figure that shit out last night... I was so shocked I almost crashed my DeLorean into a fucking light pole, John Jones style, you understand me? Be sure to follow Ariel Hawani on Twitter, and you'll, you'll quickly come to realize that this, this reptoid, he doesn't even need to sleep at all. He, he's tweeting shit and putting out videos at 4 a.m. like he was Mike Diet Dolce on meth, you know what I'm saying? Something's not right here. I reached out to him, I, I told him, you know, I said, I've been hearing these rumors, I reached out to him on Twitter, I said, here's your one chance to respond. Are you a reptilian or an alien shapeshifter? Guess what? No comment. No answer whatsoever. Sorry. Our last UFC rumor is a goddamn shocker, and I hope you're sitting down with a joint ready to light that shit up after you hear this. The word on the street is that BJ Penn has now blown up to weigh almost 300 pounds. All right? That's the word on the street. Despite the fact that he's set to be fighting GSP's bastard son, Rory McDonald, at UFC 152 in a few months. B BJ Penn weighs close to 300 pounds now. You know, that, that's, that's what I'm hearing, all right? He's reportedly been smoking that Hawaiian kush and eating big kahuna burgers in a fit of depression ever since Nate Diaz beat him like a red-steaded hep child back at UFC 137. If, if, if he's not eating, he's either crying or watching old fight tapes from the glory days while he's, like, shadow boxing like he was back in the moment. Crazy, sad shit like that. And, and one thing is for damn sure, he's definitely not training right now. So even if he manages to score enough meth from Mike Dolce to make weight, expect him to gas out early and, and, and just embarrass himself and his entire family by, by getting the fucking... The, the kind of knockout that's going to send him into retirement. I love you to death, BJ Penn, but right now even Big Country Nelson is worried about your weight. You understand me? Wake up, BJ Penn. All right, someone's knocking on the fucking motel room door, so I got to go, guys. But tune in next time. I'm going to be exposing the truth about Steven Seagal. I'm going to be talking about his supposed mob ties, uh, his, uh, his uh, alleged uh, he's running hookers out of his office or something like that. I'm going to be talking about all those rumors. The truth about Steven Seagal and the UFC is going to be revealed. Tune in next time, subscribe, or follow us on Twitter, The Ant Jimmy Show. The Ant Jimmy Show. Um, and you'll just know when the next episode drops. Thanks.